the book. Be wary of those who use the book in order to beat you down. Slaves, obey your masters. Wives, submit to your husbands. They use the book to beat you down, but the, the, the letter kills, but the spirit gives life. There is life breathing through the book, pointing to something bigger than the book. Not convinced with folk who, who walk around carrying big books. A few years ago, there were those who were demonstrating in the wake of George Floyd's tragic murder. Protests in front of the most prominent residents in the world, 1600 Pennsylvania, and, and the occupant of the house at the time decided to use his power in an awful way and, and marched down the street and, and stood in front of a church holding the book and and I remember that that on 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 one occasion someone interviewed him he said I I just love the book it's my favorite book and and the journalist said well just tell us what what verse do you like he said oh I don't want to talk about that he he couldn't quote not one verse couldn't even say Jesus wept And now he's running around trying to sell the book with his name on it as if he wrote it. The Bible does not need your endorsement. It is God's love letter to a broken humanity. God, God does not need your endorsement. This is the word of God. This, this is God speaking to God's beloved. And instead of holding up the book and trying to sell the book, you ought to read the book. Where it says, thou shalt not lie. If you open up the book, you'll see that it says, thou shalt not bear false witness. You ought to open the book where it says, woe unto those who crush the poor. You ought to open up the book where it talks about wolves who come dressed in sheep's clothing. You ought to read the book where it says, be not deceived, God is not mocked. Whatsoever a person sows, that they shall also reap. Don't just hold the book and wave the book, read the book. 